I am the co-founder of a community organization called SEVA. Um, SEVA is a non-profit community organization based in Richmond Hill, Queens. Our mission is to empower immigrant community, uh, immigrant community members to address and meet the challenges that arise in their neighborhoods. Uh, we've done voter registration drives to register thousands of voters in Southwest Queens. Uh, we've done citizenship fairs. We've done, uh, we have a very large youth component. We're working on senior issues. So we're just a grassroots community organization. Uh, we worked with the United States Census Bureau for over a year in this past uh, census. Uh, we managed about a $100,000 budget with the uh, Federal Census uh, Bureau. Um, we were able to increase the census participation of immigrants in, in this South Queens, Southwest Queens, uh, 3%, which was the goal of the census. Uh, we, our volunteers personally uh, filled out 1,700 census forms directly and we reached about 68,000 people you know, through our census efforts. We had a number of committees, and uh, we've made tens of thousands of posters and flyers and t-shirts, and, and the outreach uh, worked. And we created uh, a very large coalition. Uh, we have about 60 community organizations that are, who are members of our census coalition. Uh, uh, many elected officials and others were also uh, with us. Now, you know, the. The next step, obviously, is in the census issue is, is redistricting. And uh, I'm here representing Seva and the people and the organizations that we work with. Uh, and I kind of want to, you know, as the communities that we work with want to kind of shift away a little bit from the ethnic racial paradigm, you know, and we want to talk about sort of a, largest, a larger constituency, which are immigrants. Uh, so we have, in Queens, 47% of the people are foreign-born, are immigrants. 40, that's the latest census issue. 36% of New York City is uh, foreign-born. Uh, I'm, I'm an immigrant myself. 21% uh, of the state is comprised of foreign-born people, immigrants. And so in Queens, the largest constituency there is are immigrants, 47%. Uh, and if you compare that, there's 27% of the white population in Queens, and 19% of Queens is African American black. So, put that into perspective, at how large this constituency is, 47%. Um, you know, we, we've heard the economic data over and over. Uh, immigrants are the driving force in, it, in the economics of, of the city, the state. Uh, you know, it's 215 billion in economic, economic, uh, economic activity in the five boroughs alone in 2008. You know, we're talking about 60% of all new homeowners in the city are foreign born. So we can go on and on about, you know, this being a community of interest, immigrants themselves. Uh, and so, you know, that's why I've submitted some maps. I didn't have uh, my printer broke down. I wasn't able to print all of them, but we'll be submitting a full report with what we think should be the redrawing of the lines. I don't, I don't see the maps in front of you that I submitted out front. But, you know, we are talking about a community, uh, it's called, it's what we're calling the Southwest Queens Community of Interest. Uh, what community of interest is. Uh, so, Southwest Queens Community of Interest includes neighborhoods of Richmond Hill, South Richmond Hill, Ozone Park, South Ozone Park, and Woodhaven. Uh, it's bordered by a park in the north, uh, it's bordered by a highway, the Van Wyck Expressway, on the east. It's bordered by the Brooklyn and Queens border on the west. And the south is another highway. So it's a very sort of naturally occurring community. There's natural borders there. Um, now, that neighborhood consists of, and I'm going to call it Swicky, if you will, Southwest Queens Community of Interest, Swicky. Uh, this neighborhood uh, consists of 78 census tracts, uh, houses about 200,000 people. And 22% uh, of that neighborhood is Asian, 38% is Latino, 15% uh, is white, 13% is other, and 12% is black. So it's not a, a uh, homogeneously one ethnicity. It's a very mixed neighborhood. And, and the largest, uh, I think uh, over 60% of that neighborhood is immigrants, whether they be Latino, whether they be South Asians, or Guyanese, or Trinidadians. It's immigrants. And it's very different from the neighborhoods to the north, Glen, uh, Glendale and Mastiff, and to the south, Howard Beach. 
and, and to the uh, east, Jamaica, and, and St. Albans. Mm -hmm. So it's very unique in that sense. It's a, it's a very diverse immigrant population. And, and so we stated earlier that uh, it's, a, it's, one, it's the largest constituency in Queens, but there are no districts created to empower immigrants as a whole. So if we do not create a district, whether it be assembly or senate, uh, or uh, to empower immigrants as a whole, then we're not going to be able to elect people who will advocate for immigrants' rights at the city level, at the state level, at the federal level. And so we're never going to be able to create advocates for immigrants as a whole, and not just one ethnic group. And so, uh, you know, the, the, the other thing about the swinky neighborhood, besides its, its diverse immigrant population, they, sh they have the same struggles. Whether you're a Latino or a South Asian, if you live in that neighborhood, you are riding on dilapidated trains. You know, the transportation system in that neighborhood, in those neighborhoods, is extremely dilapidated. No escalator anywhere. It's all uh, the L line, the, the J and the A. And there is a, a failing school system. You know, the public school system you know, is literally failing. Schools are closing down in, in those neighborhoods. Which is, and it's very different. There's a there's a large South Asian community in Belrose in Eastern Queens. Now that South Asian community is dealing with a very different set of issues uh, as compared to the South Asians in Richmond Hill. You know that uh, Belrose Queens is one of the best uh, education uh, districts in the city, and, and the South Asians who live in Richmond Hill are dealing with one of the worst uh, in, in in the city. So you know, we're kind of trying to want to move on beyond the, 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 uh, the ethnic paradigm and, and talk about what communities are facing, issues as a whole. And um, I mean, I can go on, but it, I, well, I do want to mention two, two things. Uh, Latvor divided the, that community into two Senate districts directly in half. I actually live on the block that's the border, and it's the center of the community. And Latvor divided that uh, that part of our community in half in the Senate. So to the west is Senator Adabo in 15, and to the east is, is Senator Huntley. And I'm sad to say that both of those uh, representatives essentially ignore that part of their district. You know, and there's no representation, really. That, those neighborhoods, the Swiki neighborhood, is divided into seven assembly districts. Seven assembly districts. I, I also live on the block that's uh, that's the dividing line, which is in the center of the community. So we're not, you know, all we're saying is unite. You know, there's no need to have a neighborhood divided into seven assembly districts. Like a list them, just for the record. Uh, Assemblyman Miller is in 80, uh, uh, Assembly District 38, Cook in Assembly District 32, Lance in Assembly District 25, Marison in Assembly District 27, Titus in Assembly District 31, uh, Assembly District 23 is vacant, it was Pfeffer. Uh, Assembly District 28. Well, Mayor's is also, 27 is also vacant. And so, you know, those are, that, the Swicky neighborhood, this community of interest, becomes a very insignificant part of all these Assembly Districts. And therefore, historically, currently, we have no representation. None of these elected officials, I'm sorry to say, have done anything, you know, or, or have proposed any legislation, or uh, uh, opened up a district office, you know, or anything in these neighborhoods. And why would they? It's, you know, it's 5% of this person's district, 10% of the others, you know, 3% of this guy's, and so that, and take any questions. Where's the community board going? There's two boards, 10, that, uh, Just two? Two, 10, this Betty, uh, Betty Tess Federal, they can play Bratton, and nine is the northern part of those communities. Yeah. Your maps that, that you're submitting, um, Please make sure that uh, you do so uh, as quickly as possible. Yes, we put a tight deadline and uh, we would all welcome the opportunity to reflect uh, those concerns you've raised in three days. Yeah, we are uh, just like waiting on some, some final data analysis. We should have them up by Monday at the latest. Very All right, thank you. Good job. Before our next speaker, we're going to...